Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm excited to announce that I'm going to be officially hosting a convention here in Orlando, Florida. The convention is called Collectors World Con, and it is a pop culture and collectible convention where we're going to have a bunch of different vendors and artists come together to showcase their products. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and do a deep dive of why I went ahead and started my own convention um, what the event's gonna offer and what you guys can do to participate. And as always guys, before we go ahead and start this video, please leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and if you can, go ahead and share this video with your friends. So before we go ahead and explain the backstory and everything about the convention, I do wanna let you guys know that this convention is gonna be hosted on Saturday, November 18th at the Double Tree by Hilton Orlando at SeaWorld. The event's gonna be running from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the tickets are only $10 plus tax. All right, so before we go ahead and explain what the event's gonna to have to offer, I'm gonna give you guys a quick backstory of how I even came to start wanting to start a convention in the first place. So the thing about conventions and me, I've always had an interest for them. I remember as I was growing up and playing video games, I would see the COD XP events, I would see E3, I would see Minecon, and funny enough, Minecon 2013 was actually the first convention I had ever gone to. I also remember watching videos on Comic-Con and just thinking how cool would it be to actually attend these events and be a part of them. So then fast forward back in 2018 when I started getting into the collectible hobby of Funko Pops, a huge memory of mine was actually going to a bunch of local events that were called Pop Swaps that were hosted mostly by a bunch of local stores. And then there was a few like collectible shows that would happen. And I remember having such a great time at these events because at these events, this is the best time to go ahead and connect with the people in your community and to actually enjoy the hobby for what it is. You're supposed to have fun when it comes to Funko. So again, that this is a lot of the backstory and the passion behind why I want to go ahead and actually start this convention. So I actually wanna go ahead and talk a little bit about my first convention ever. So again, guys, Minecon was such an amazing experience. This was the only place where you could see every single Minecraft YouTuber and you can get a bunch of signatures, you can talk with them, and it was just such a great time. One of the biggest memories I had was actually getting this uh, pickaxe sign by Captain Sparkles, um, what was it, the Minecraft crew? I mean, a bunch of different people. My first experience at a convention really pushed me to go ahead and have a passion for this. And not only was it about meeting the personalities and influencers, at these events, there's always so much stuff to do. They got vendors, they have um, different displays or experiences. So it was always such a cool time to actually go ahead and experience those things. So once again, we're gonna be fast forwarding to April of this year. So as you guys know, we were doing a bunch of convention videos around that time when I first started YouTube. We were going to pop-up markets. I think the first one was Spookala pop-up market. Then we went ahead and went to PopCon. And we again, we started going to a bunch of these different um, conventions and events. And then that's when the passion of seeing all this, all these people and all these people interacting and going to uh, shows and vending and that feeling of connection and community that I felt during the, um, back in the Funko Pop swap days, um, I wanted to go ahead and actually do something like that myself. I wanted to go ahead and create a convention where like-minded people can come together and, you know, again, buy and sell and trade and again, just have a good time. So to make this dream a reality, I went ahead and I grabbed a few of my friends and we started the journey to creating Collectors World Con, which again is only a month away back again in April. And I can't believe that we are so close to that dream, that um, vision that I had at the time actually becoming a reality. For those who don't know, it is a long, long process to go ahead and get things officially done. I mean, you have to worry about so much. And one of the best things I did and our team did um, to go ahead and move forward with this convention was going to different events. So we had gone to Supercon, we had gone to Fanboy Expo and like going to local events and kind of supporting them as well. That has been one of the best things when it comes to planning a convention, guys. I highly recommend if you ever are planning a convention, if you want to host something, to go and check out the local cons and interact with people and connect because we've met so many amazing people and that's honestly a big reason as to why this is this convention is gonna happen in the first place. So yeah, guys, now that this dream is a real reality, we've rented out the venue, we have vendors and we have artists coming to the event. 
We even have guests coming to the event. It's insane. Let's talk a little bit more about what the event is going to offer to you guys if you do want to come to Collector's World Con 2023. So the very first thing that I want to go ahead and um, announce to you guys here on YouTube is we are going to be getting a legendary voice actor coming to the event. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the announcement video right now. Always remember these words. Work hard, study well, and eat and sleep plenty. That is the Turtle Hermit way. Men, it's time to prepare the buggy ball. Yeah! Get your hands off us! So yeah, guys, it is true. Mike is going to be at the event. They're going to go ahead and offer autographs for sale. They're going to go ahead and offer um, selfies that you can go ahead and take. And it really is such a cool experience. So in the announcement trailer, you kind of see that um, Mike goes ahead and actually plays some very iconic characters in anime. So most notable with uh, Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. You also have Jean from Attack on Titan. And then also Buggy the Clown from One Piece. I mean, Mike has played so many different characters in his legendary career. I am so happy once again to have him on board and come to the event, do autographs and selfies for you guys to enjoy. So not only are we gonna have Mike at the event, we're actually gonna be joined by three experienced, amazing cosplayers here in Florida and their names are Layla Ali, Krabby Fint, and Level 1 Cosplay. We're super happy to have them on board. They have definitely been amazing to walk through what the cosplay world is. Not only do we have these amazing guests at our event, we're also going to have a bunch of different vendors and artists. If you guys are into collectibles, if you're into um, trading cards, if you're into action figures, anything you can think of, Funko Pops especially, we're going to have over 30 vendors at our event that you can go ahead and purchase from. And there's a lot of really amazing Funko Pops that we have seen from the vendor applications because that's the best thing, guys. Through a very selective application process, when the vendors apply to us, we have hand-selected, the team and I have hand-selected these people to be at our event and vend at our event. We're also going to have some amazing different artists with different art styles. And I'm 100% sure you guys are going to absolutely love it. One of the most amazing artists that's gonna be at our event will actually be Chris Stevens. They do a bunch of amazing comic and DC art. Most recently, they actually uh, did these limited spawn um prints and they look absolutely amazing so once again we are so happy to have amazing talent at our event just like chris now not only do we have the artists and we have the vendors we are also planning on having some extra activities and some experiences for you to enjoy um we are planning again a few prizes may be given away we're, we're still not sure how we're going to do it but some a few prizes are going to be given away we're also going to try to have a photo op for the people that are coming to the event to actually you know take a picture with and showcase on um social media and showcase their friends that they've had you know such a good time and not only that cosplay is going to be welcomed at our event as well um, you know, we, you can't have cosplay guests without letting uh, fans come in and, you know, do cosplay as well. So, again, we're super excited about that. Um, the only thing I will say is that we are not, for this event, we're not allowing any weapons at all. Um, we just want the event to be safe. It is centrally located at the hotel, so we don't want any of the hotel guests to be alarmed. But again, we are super excited to go ahead and host such an amazing event and again this is a first time event so it's not the biggest event in the world it, we are definitely starting from the ground up but i hope that we do offer enough experiences for our guests and our vendors to be happy and once again everybody i just want to go ahead and give huge thanks to every single person that has been watching our youtube videos recently you guys have been absolutely amazing um I, it really does mean a lot to me when um, I see all the comments, I see the likes, I see the constant support and the consistency of me doing these Funko Pop hunts, these events, um, theme park content as well. All the support that you guys go ahead and give me that pushes me forward. And that passion that you guys gave me from um, content creation is honestly a big part as to what made, gave me the confidence to go ahead and host 
an event like Collectors World Con. I, again, I'm super grateful for that and I, I just gotta thank every single one of you. If you do want to go ahead and attend the event and get more information on pricing, go ahead and click on the link in the description or you can go ahead and type www.collectorsworldcon.com to go ahead and check out our website. All the information you'll need and um, should hopefully be there. If you do not see the information on the website, please go ahead and fill out that contact form. If you do need to ask any questions, we are happy to um, respond to anything. But again, guys, thank you all so much. All right, everyone, that about does it for today's video. Again, it is definitely a passion video, something that I'm super happy to go ahead and announce to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see uh, more from Collectors World Con. Don't worry, we will be providing a full vlog leading up to the event. Um, probably record different clips and stuff. I think it would be really cool to do a mashup for you guys. But again, if you do want to see more um, from the Funko Pop Punt, more of these types of content, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one.